Jack, uh, Indigenous Round, uh, obviously a special one on the calendar for yourself and the Indigenous players. Um, how's the build-up been? It's awesome, mate. Um, I was just done another interview before and it's around, it's growing and growing um, and it's getting the respect it deserves, I believe, and I think it's something that's going to keep growing. Um, there's all them beautiful artworks on all the jerseys and uh, speaking for myself, all the boys get behind it and uh, makes me very proud, mate. You guys um, had that cultural experience a couple of weeks back and it was good to go out there and learn more about the country that we're on now and also you know, some of those... Um, you know, experiences like throwing the boomerang and stuff was a bit of fun for the boys as well. Yeah, it was awesome, mate. As you said, we, we learned some of the ways of uh, the Ngunnawal people and uh, how they used to go about business back in the day and, uh, and finished it off with a little bit of boomerang throwing. Um, that, that was fun, as mate. Uh, some of the boys chasing around them boomerangs and big Joshy Paps and that. You see him falling over and diving. It was, it was really good. Mate, the, the jersey itself, um, obviously a lot of thought and time and preparation went into it from the artist Eddie Longford, but also the Indigenous playing group as well. Yeah, it was awesome this year. It was an awesome process. Uh, started last year, uh, to be fair, and uh, something we've all been involved in and, and uh, getting the storyline and, uh, you know, we got to actually pick the artist um, off a few different examples and um, Eddie's absolutely nailed it, mate. We've all got our totems and a little story of the Brindabellas and uh, the Murrumbidgee that runs through it and the meeting places that Canberra is, you know, to uh, surrounding tribes. So uh, it was really cool to be involved and uh, I believe it's turned out awesome, the jersey. We love it, mate, and we can't wait to represent it this weekend. How important was it for the players, the non-Indigenous players, to learn more about that during that experience as well? Well, that's, I think um, this round's more important um, for that uh, for that reason, mate, is um, bringing everyone together and everyone sharing and learning that little bit of uh, knowledge, you know what I mean? And that's what it's all about. Um, you know, I'm learning every day myself and um, even boys in our team, we're all from different areas and different parts of the world and uh, different parts of Australia. And to learn a little bit about them and um, share their experiences and culture, it's uh, what it's all about, mate. Uh, Jamal, Indigenous Round, obviously a very special uh, event on the calendar, particularly for the Indigenous players in the club. Yeah, obviously, it's one that we all um, circle. We get to represent um, our beautiful culture and our people and where we're from. And um, even though I'm down here in Canberra, I still get to showcase uh, my culture and my family back home in Queensland, which I think is really awesome. You guys had a wonderful cultural experience a few weeks back now uh, where you unveiled the jersey to the playing group and were able to go out on country with Richie Allen and learn more from the designer, Eddie Longford. Tell us about that experience and what that was like. Yeah, I think it was awesome um, that the whole whole squad got to go out there and have that experience um, with Richie um, telling us a bit about the land that we live on and um, what happened forever ago. And um, to have a couple activities there, um, throwing the boomerangs, I think all the boys had a lot of fun and um, had a lot of smiles on their faces. Um, and it kind of took me back to being a little fella when we used to do that back home as um, activities and stuff when we used to go camping. So to have that um, side of it was really awesome but then also the storytelling and um, even the little display table that he had there with um, a couple you know I think it might have been a bit of possum skin and um, a couple of indigenous weapons on the table but then also for um, Eddie and his family to be there to talk about the jersey and what it meant for him and um, for us as players to have a say in that I think it was a really awesome day. Tell us about the process and the player involvement in this year's jersey. Yeah, I think um, the club was awesome with us this year, um, being able to have a say. And um, there was a couple of designs there um, that were on the table. And for us as playing group, we got to pick which one that we liked and uh, made a few adjustments um, with, with the Torres Strait Islander boys, putting their totems on there as well as um, us Indigenous boys. So I think um, for us, it was really exciting um, to see the jersey and to have a little bit of input on it um, and to represent our totems and where we're from. I uh, just can't wait to put it on this weekend. And, you know, obviously the copyright rules have held it back, but to have the Indigenous Aboriginal flag on there and also the Torres Strait Island flag on the jersey, I mean, that's something that's, um, you know, a bit unique for this for the Raiders for the first time it's really happened for a long time. Yeah, I think that was probably the most pleasing part about it, just to have the colours. Um, for some people it might not mean much, but for our people it means everything. Um, to showcase our flags, um, the Indigenous flag, but also the Torres Strait Islander flag, I think it's awesome and um, it's good to see that, you know, people can use it um, in everyday life now moving forward.